Hey guys, Michael Sanchez here. So everything that we've talked about so far in all the lessons are giving you guys a foundation for mastering the violin. And I promise you, it is going to really help you to soar, you know, to where you're not just progressing at this pace, you're progressing at this pace. I see it with students that really apply all these concepts. I'm not going to let you fail. Just make sure that you're doing what we've talked about so far. We're working on Mary Had a Lamb, just plucking, establishing solid left-hand technique. And we're also working on two drills, the rocking bow drill and the index drill. So by now, if you follow everything I've been teaching you, you should potentially not even have stroked one bow stroke yet. And there's a reason for that. I don't want you to build bad habits, okay? If we can get things started right off the bat properly, you're going to really thank me later, okay? So today I'm going to teach you guys how to apply rosin on the bow, which is important important part of getting to that point that we're going to get to soon of getting some notes with the bow, okay? So rosin is basically a sticky film. It's kind of like tree sap, um, but it's it comes as it's it comes hardened when you purchase it. I'm gonna have some links below to some rosins I recommend. I recommend jade rosin. I recommend um, you know a certain type of um, other rosin I'll have down there too. But jade rosin really can't go wrong. It's affordable and it's it's a good potent rosin. Okay, so basically. What we need to do to start is we need to scratch the surface and I just do that with the back of my bow. I'm scratching the surface so that some of the rosin starts to pop to the surface. And when you do that, there's a, there's a film that comes on to the top of the bow that looks like that. Okay. And that's what we need to get on the bow, on the, on the bow hairs. Okay. Because if you've tried to bow and you don't know nothing about the violin and you haven't watched this lesson, you might, have found that the violin doesn't make a sound. And the reason for that is it doesn't have any rosin on it yet, okay? So sorry if, if you've tried and you thought your violin was broken, it, it's not broken. Okay, so, so I'm scratching the surface and then what I'm doing is I'm applying this rosin into the bow hairs, okay? I'm kind of doing it just like I'm doing it right now with the bow tightened. I'm applying rosin, okay? And you should do this for about five to 10 seconds if your bow already has rosin on it. Now, if your bow does not have rosin on it already, if it's literally where if you swipe it, it's like silky and it has no stickiness whatsoever when you first get your violin and bow, then you have to do this for probably about two minutes to start working in the rosin. Okay, and that's that's pretty standard. Okay, so the way to test if you have proper amount of rosin on your bow is take the back of your finger and swipe down here. Don't use the front oily fingers, get the bow hairs dirty, not good. Back of the finger, swipe, test. That's good. Just what I'm showing you there, okay? So if you have that amount of resin on your finger, that's plenty good. Assuming that it's it's like that throughout the bow, okay? Which you should be by rosin the whole bow. Okay, now if you have way more than that, if your finger is like totally white, I'm not gonna do it, I don't wanna get a bunch of rosin on my hands. But um, if that's like totally white, not so much like that, just whiter and thicker, that's an indicator that you have too much rosin on your bow, okay? So the way to get rid of rosin is take your finger and swipe the back side of the hair all the way up the bow. Back side, make sure you don't do the front side and just get rid of some of that rosin. Another tip, make sure you don't grab the, the bow by the um, by the hand like this. Always grab it just by the stick because we, we want to avoid always not touching that front of the, the bow hairs because if we touch it too much, it gets in the way of producing a good sound and ultimately you're going to need a different bow or re-hair. So let's, we want to avoid that if possible. So assuming you have enough rosin on your bow, then we're we're almost at that point of playing Mary Had a Little Lamb. So keep keep watching. If you follow everything that I've taught up to this point, I promise you you're in a great position to establish a great foundation and learn fun songs on the violin.